proudest accomplishment at Crestview is winning a state title last year as a member of the fastest 4x400 relay team to run at Crestview. He is also proud of the career he has had with his AAU team and earning an offer from Mount Union College to run track and field at the college level. Malachi will miss being a part of Crestview Athletics. After graduation, Malachi will attend Mount Union College to run track and possibly walk on to the basketball team while majoring in sports business. Malachi Spore.
Crestview, Ohio, the den as they call it in these parts where they just honored 10 seniors. You see their posters here, five cheerleaders, five basketball players, and they're gonna look to take care of business on senior night, but the Rough Riders wanna come in and rough them up. And we'll have that game for you next, live and free right here on the OH Report. Guarantee nobody else gets you closer to the action than our exclusive coverage. So give me a call, Brian Skaronsky, and let's make you a part of the game. Since 1974, Simonson has helped their clients stay on target to meet the goals and deadlines for their projects. From concept to completion, Simonson can design a plan and build a path for success. Let Simonson Construction turn that vision into a reality. Instead of paying for some big name spokesperson, Casasa Checking gives that money back to you in cash rewards. In fact, you just bought me this cup of coffee. See how that works? Amazing! Free checking, cash rewards. Take back banking with Casasa. the Den Cougar Nation, where the Crestview Cougars look to finish off a tremendous regular season with only one blemish. But the Western Reserve Rough Riders, led by head coach Chris Sheldon, are going to look to rough them up a little bit on senior night and take care of business on the road. Should be an interesting one tonight. Crestview honored five seniors before the game. Unfortunately, one of them injured. Just had surgery done yesterday, I found out, on the knee. So he's here dressed. He's going to be here for his team. It's nice to see Crestview, all their seniors, in a different warm-up. Name, number, a black warm-up. Pretty cool to see them do that. We're going to take a look at those visiting Rough Riders first, though. Not this type of season we're used to seeing out of a Chris Sheldon-led team. 10-9 overall, 7-6 and six in the Firelands. Lost their last two to Edison and Mapleton. Close game to Edison by 8. Lose by 10 to Mapleton. They average 53.1 points per game. They give up 50 and a half. They shoot 38% from two, 28% from deep, and a crisp 60% from the free throw line. And a lot of that is led by a sophomore, nonetheless. He's their shooting guard. He goes by the name of Chase Hip. Stands six foot one. He averages 16.9, 2.6 assists, and 4.8 rebounds. He's a young guard that's going to help rebuild this program as I look down their roster. They have five seniors. A couple of them start. One of them's hurt. But they're a young squad. Five seniors, two juniors. The rest are sophomores. And they're young at the JV level as well as they've got five, five sophomores, two freshmen, and a junior. But they're going to have to knock off Crestview tonight. And if they want to do that, they're going to have to slow the pace. Crestview wants to force turnovers, and they want to run, 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 and let it fly. You shoot 28% from three. They've shot in 
I want to say when I looked at their stats, they've shot in 150 was the number I think I looked at. 150 threes on the season. Let it fly tonight. Last regular season game, you're getting ready for tourney action. Let it fly. Give yourself a chance. Don't try to get in a running match with these Cougars, though, because that's what they love to do is run you to death. Let's take a look at those Crestview Cougars who are looking again to take care of business on senior night, led by head coach John Kurtz. And I tell you what, he still keeps paper stats, ladies and gentlemen. I've been trying to get stats for about a week, and I was unable to get them. But it's nice to know that coaches still care enough to take care of paper stats. They want things taken care of. They want to do things. And it's fun to hear of coaches still doing that. One, two, their last two after a tough, buzzer-beating loss at Norwalk St. Paul just, I want to say, two weeks ago. And there you see Coach Kurtz. They averaged 69.8 points per game, give up 48.1. They shoot the ball well. I was here with uh, Hall of Fame coach Joe Baylaw when they played the Lucas Cubs, and they ran the Cubs out of the gym on that evening, shooting a three, running up and down the floor, forcing Lucas turnovers, doing things that most people can't do to the Lucas Cubs is what they did. And a lot of that was because of this young man right here, senior guard. I list him as a forward personally. Max Prep list him as a shooting guard. He's 6'3". I think he's 6'4 on the roster. He's 6'4 on the roster. He's 6'3 online. But he's a great passer. He'll catch it and shoot it. He'll finish at the rim. He'll kick it out to the corner. He'll get the assist. He's going to get the rebounds. And he's one of the best on. We talked, I talked with uh, founder Brian Skronsky when I called a Lucas game with him the other night. Logan Thomas is one of the best on-ball defenders in our area. Jarek Ringler is a close second. He's going to play tight defense. He's going to force you to make mistakes. And those are all the things that he loves to do. And it's in that name. That Ringler name is well known here in Cougar Nation inside the den. And a lot of the reasons that they're as good as they are is because they do these things. They run and gun. They get turnovers. They look to run the floor. They get easy layups. And do it for the seniors. You got five of them here tonight, one being injured. You got four in the starting lineup along with an incredible junior in Justice Thompson. Do it for the seniors. Do it for the guys that have been here. As you see the Fireland standings, Crestview St. Paul tied at 12-1. and one. Crestview takes a care of business tonight. They'll be 13-1. and one. St. Paul has to win as well. I looked earlier. I can't remember who they play. I'll check in between here, and I'll update you guys on that as well for those of you interested in that Firelands Conference Championship. But before we go through the National Anthem, you're going to see here the Division Three Northwest 1 bracket. Crestview awaits the winner of Northwood and Bucyrus, that game being played at Northwood. And Western Reserve will host Cardinal Stritch for a chance to play the winner of Lakota and a very talented Margareta team. What more can you ask for? Your last regular season game, a chance to tie for the conference. As it looks like St. Paul plays New London tonight. So they need to take care of business against New London. That'll, that'll make a tie for the Firelands. But we're going to go ahead and send it down to the court for the playing of the National Anthem.
phenomenal job by those men, young and old. One of the better renditions I've heard all year of the National Anthem. The only male a cappella chorus in Richland County, I think. Not just Mansfield, but I'm pretty sure the only one in Richland County. And they do a phenomenal job. Adam Thompson, my producer, as always, approves. We're going to meet starters now. As you're going to see... They got special signs for each senior tonight that I'm assuming each senior is going to run through. This should be entertaining. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at Western Reserve. Braxton Baylog, Hayden Keith, Tim Gregory, Chase Hip, and Jared Hip. And on the other side of things, you're going to have senior 6'5 forward Dylan Bruner. Senior 6'3 guard Grayson Burgess. Senior. 6'4 guard, Jarek Ringler. Senior, 6'3 forward, Sam Wells. And junior, 6'4 forward, Justice Thompson. This might be one of the coolest things I've seen all year, folks. Every senior, they have 10. They have, count them, 10 banners made for each one of these seniors here this evening. Tell you what, it don't get better of an atmosphere on a Friday night than here inside the Den Cougar Nation. The Cougars are looking to finish the regular season at 21 and 1, ranked number 8 in the state of Ohio. And there's a reason for it. They're led by their seniors and this stud junior, Justice Thompson. We've talked about him before. Their student section's hype. They're ready to go. And that was one of the coolest senior nights I think I've seen all year. They help Malachi Spore break through his. Everybody else breaks through their banner. We're center circle. Ringler's got it for the Cougars. Back to Ringler. Thompson. Ringler up top again. Three ball. Nothing doing. Thompson misses the first shot of the night. Board. 
Western's going to look to run. They outlet. Nothing doing. Great job getting back defensively. It's stolen away. That's great defense by Bruner. Wrangler step through. Kicks it up top. Three ball up. It's going to be short. As Burgess couldn't knock it down. Boarded by Western. Hip has it now. Their leading score. Gets it to Freilich. To Keith. Keith back to Hip. Great feed. Two points. Braxton Baylong. Great feed from Hip. Ringler has it. Gets it to Thompson. To Bruner. Back to Thompson in the corner. Burgess. Burgess has Ringler down low. Doesn't find him. Gets it to Thompson again. Tried to feed it to Wells. He had a man. He missed him. Stolen away. Great start defensively for Western. Hip. Catch and shoot three ball. Nothing doing. Hustle play. Ends up in the hands of Thompson. He's going to look to push. Thompson going to go coast to coast. Spin move. No foul call. Gets it to Hip. Hip gets it to Keith. Can't knock it down. That'll be off of Ringler. I'll stay with Western. Tyson Ringler is going to check back into the game, replacing Burgess. Burgess got the start on senior night. I expect him to get quite a bit more playing time, try to get him on the scoreboard. Hip. Poked away. It'll be off of Hip's foot. Great defense by Justice Thompson and Sam Wells. It's going to force that turnover. Went off of Sam's knee, went back into Hip's knee, and went all the way out of bounds. Cougars still looking for their first bucket. Ringler to Thompson. Thompson to Bruner. Back to Thompson in the corner. Wells cross feed inside. Tyson Ringler. He'll catch. He can't finish. Great defense by Baylog. Keith with it. He's going to look to go coast to coast. Hayden Keith's going to get fouled. They're going to say no bucket. They're going to call it on the floor. No, they're going to count the bucket. It's a great finish by Hayden Keith. It's 4 nothing Western. We've seen this. In Lucas as well the other night, though, on their senior night. They came out and started kind of slow and then got things rolling as Keith misses the freebie. Tyson gets it to Jarek. Back to Tyson. To Bruner. Last time we were here, we saw Bruner knock down several triples. Jarek with it. In the corner, Sam Wells. He'll catch and shoot a three ball. Nothing doing. Rebound. Goes off of Tyson, off of Jarek. Off of a Western Reserve player and ends up in the hands of Justice Thompson. It's 4-2. Hip with it. Picked up his dribble. Nothing doing. Baylog catches it. Tyson Ringler comes away with a steal. He realized he couldn't touch it. Jarrett grabbed a hold of it. That was an interesting play. Jarrett gets it back. Tries to feed it to Sam. Nothing doing. Justice kicks it to Sam. They're going to set the offense up. They're going to be very patient offensively if they don't have a running gun situation. Western playing a, a 2-3 zone. That's stolen away. Freilich, coast to coast. Can't finish. They're going to say that's off of Crestview. And we're going to take a look at the replay. I'm pretty sure that was off of Keith. As they're going to correct that call, that was definitely off of Hayden Keith. It'll be crusty basketball. As Pouch. And Tyler Wood will check into the game for Western. Thompson back to Ringler. Down low to Tyson. Justice. Great feed. Justice Thompson finds Dylan Bruner. How about that pass? Early nominee for play of the game right there. 
Stolen away, Justice Thompson. Coast to coast, lefty finish. 6-4, that's a 6-0 Cougar run. Freilich. Wood. Off of Wells. Ringler. Ringler throws the hammer down. His first points on senior night are a two-handed flush. It's eight to four, Cougars. As we're gonna take a look at that one again. He threw it down with two hands with authority. How about that for your first points on senior night? So I know there's already people in the fan zone. I know there's going to be plenty of people watching this game tonight because I know what Cougar Nation has out there to support them. Let us know who you are, where you're cheering on from, who you're cheering on, because I know the Rough Riders have a lot of support as well. And then let us know who's going to win their tournament game. Western has a sectional semifinal. Crestview's awaiting the winner of Northwood Bucyrus. Who's going to win their games? Are these two going to meet again in the district semifinal or a district championship? What's going to happen? Talk to me so I can talk to you. Let's see if we can get just as many comments tonight as we have viewers. That'd be great. If you're watching, then just say hi. Western inbounds it. Hips got it. The corner. Tipped away. Ringler almost had another one. Instead, they're going to feed it down low. Tyson Ringler gets the rejection. A great skip pass. Thompson. Pull up in the middle. Nothing doing. Sam Wells is going to get the offensive board, but they're going to call a push in the back. I think they're going to call that on Sam. They are. We're going to see that one again. I don't know about that one. He didn't really see a push off there, but... Again, the officials do what they do for a reason, and I'm sitting up here talking to you guys for a reason. So, it's Baylog. It's going to check back in. Pouch. Try to feed it on low. It's going to be another Western turnover. They're seventh of the quarter. He thought he was going to go back door. Just nobody home. Sam Wells has it now. Back to Jarek. To Justice. Back to Sam. Jarek in the corner. That's a three ball. That's Carter Goon. That's another sophomore. And it's 11 4. It's an 11 0 Crestview run. Baylog in the short corner. Great feed. Pouch, another great dish inside, Hayden Keith. Carter Groom with it to Thompson. He'll hoist from deep. Nothing doing, rebounded by Keith. Pouch, long feed. Great effort, great save by Jarek Ringler. Ends up in the hands of Pouch, guarded by Thompson. Gets it to hip. In the corner, Keith down low to Baylog, guarded by Wells. Wells, a great post defender. Gets it to hip. To Ringler. Wells took it away from him. He feeds Thompson. Thompson's going to go coast to coast. He's got two more. And how about the baseball pass from Sam Wells? Stolen away. Carter Goon gets it to Ringler. Ringler steps through, can't finish. Goons there for the putback. It's a 15-2 Cougars run. That's going to force a Coach Sheldon timeout. What more could you ask for? You came out slow at a 4-0 deficit. You outscored them 15-2, and it's been the running gun style. They forced 9, 10 Crestview turnovers in the first quarter. And every, almost every single turnover has led to a fast break bucket as you're going to take a look at the Ringler throwdown again I think we got a new nominee for top play let me know guys get in the fan zone again 
You're watching the game with me. What's the top play of the what's the top play gonna be tonight? What's the play of the game? Is it the throw down by Ringler? Or are we gonna see if we see another throw down, we might have to have two plays of the game tonight. Board looks to push again. Thompson step through right hand and finish on the left handed side. It's a 17 to 2 run, and these Cougars come out to play ball tonight. Senior night, they're not going to let their seniors down. Hips got it. To try to get to Baylor, gets stolen away. Another turnover. Tyson Ringler ends up with it. He's going to go coast to coast. He can't finish. Carter Goon's going to float it up. He's going to get fouled. He's going to go to the line for two. Offensive rebounds, turnovers, and running gun basketball is what we've seen here in the first quarter. A great catch by Tyson. He can't finish, but Goon's there for the follow. That'd be the second time that he would have followed up a bucket already here in the first quarter. As he's got five to go with Thompson's eight. He's got six looking for seven to go along with Justice Thompson's eight. But none more excited in their 18 than that jam that we keep showing. And I'm sure we're going to show it plenty more times tonight. He knocks them both down. It's 19 to 6. We're inside of 20 seconds remaining. Hip with it. Jared Hip with it. Make sure I clear those two up. Five seconds. Loader, no good. Tyson Ringler gets it. Three-quarter court. It's going to be short. Cougars 19, Rough Riders 6. They close the quarter on a 19-2 run. We'll see what they can do in the second after this break. Since 1974, Simonson has helped their clients stay on target to meet the goals and deadlines for their projects. From concept to completion, Simonson can design a plan and build a path for success. Let Simonson Construction turn that vision into a reality. Instead of paying for some big name spokesperson, Casasa Checking gives that money back to you in cash rewards. In fact, you just bought me this cup of coffee. See how that works? Amazing! Free checking, cash rewards. Take back banking with Casasa. Josh Banks back inside the den. Crestview High School, Cougar Nation as they call it. Tough start coming out of the gate for Crestview. They go down 4-0. Like I said before, the, at the end of the quarter, they finished that quarter on a 19-2 run. We're going to see what they got in store for the second. Darren Hips got it for the Rough Riders. Gets it to Chase. Hayden Keith back to Chase. Leading scorer on the team. And there's that defense. That defense is just amazing. And there's, Tom, or there's, yeah, there's Justice Thompson on the floor. He's in double figures already. Seven and a half to go in the second quarter. Justice Thompson's already got ten. Great feed inside. Fralick. Thompson. Bruner up top, Goon back to Tyson, outside, three ball up. No good for Burgess, still looking for his first points on senior night. Jared Hip with it, had Baylog early, didn't see him quite soon enough. There goes Thompson running the floor again, he floats, he finishes. 12 turnovers in the first half. Another two points for Thompson on another run-out layup. 
He'll step to the line to shoot one. As Sam Wells and Jarek Ringler are going to check back in, replacing Bruner and Tyson Ringler. Jarek hustles for the offensive rebound. He's going to get fouled. Going to be on Pouch. His first. Team second. Two fouls early going here in the second quarter. Sam gets it to Jarek. Goon back to Jarek. Top, top of the elbow. Free throw line. Great move by Sam. Burgess back to Sam. Sam going to look to go baseline. Nothing doing. Great defense there by Baylog. Gets it to Jarek. Burgess is going to shoot another one. Can't knock it down, but there's that man again. Justice Thompson's got 14 here in the first half. He's making it look too easy. Jared Hip gets it to Freilich. Baylog to Hip down low. Stolen away. Goon couldn't control it. Him and Burgess both got their paws on it. They couldn't retain possession. It'll go off a goon. It'll stay with the Rough Riders. Jared Hip with it to Posh. Freilich. Back to Hip in the corner to Keith. Great feed to Baylog. Burgess with the defense, though. The post defense between Burgess and Sam Wells, it's going to be tough to feed the big boys down low for reserve. Posh floats, can't finish. Burgess, strong man, rebound. Sam Wells feeds Jarek. Thompson, step back, heat check. Can't knock it down. Rebound to Goon, to Sam Wells. Back to Goon. Jarrett comes and gets it, sets the offense up to Justice. Jarrett, back door to Sam. Great catch. Sam Wells has his first two on senior night on the great catch and finish. The feed from Ringler. It's going to force another Coach Sheldon timeout. As that's a 27 to 4. Crestview run. Did you see the student section for Cougar Nation getting involved tonight? This is one of the most packed houses I've been in all season. It was the same way when I was here just just about a month ago for that game with Lucas where they they dominated that as well. Again, I didn't get to attend the St. Paul game where they were upset in dramatic fashion, but you cannot take away from what Coach Kurtz has done with this group. The season they had last year, starting the season off the way they did, they lose their first game of the season last year at Lucas after being undefeated. They come back this year, stay undefeated against Lucas, extend that even farther. And now they're the number one seed in their district. Have a very good chance to at least get to a district championship. And even a shot at getting out of districts and making it to a regional semi this year. Jared Hip with it to Freilich. Pouch. We're going to call a foul on Wells. We're going to take a look at it. I'm not too sure. That's the second one on Wells that I'm not super sure about. I don't know how much arm or, or body he got. It looked like he stepped away from the ball handler and poked it out. Looked clean. But, again, the refs are there. The refs are there. I'm up here. Bruner checks in to replace him. As Keith's guarded by Burgess. Goon went for the steal. Hip gets it. Three ball. Freilich 
Knocks it down. He's got five, and it's 27-11. How about the catch and the feed from Goon? He goes up, still makes the shot somehow, falls on top of Pouch. That'll be Crestview basketball, baseline out of bounds. They're going to go a line, four line, gets it to Jarek. Jarek gets a screen from Thompson, gives it to Goon. Goon gets it to Bruner in a corner. Crestview's gone man-to-man -man defense now. They've gotten out of the zone. Thompson with it. Ringler gets it to Thompson. Almost poked away. Great feed, great catch. Bruner couldn't finish. Fralick. He's got the last five for Western Reserve. 27-13. That's a 5-0 run. Bagoon. He steps through and finishes. He's got nine. 29-13. We're going to call a foul on Thompson. Coach Kurt's not too happy about that one. His first. As you see our bracket again here, Crestview awaits the winner of Bucyrus Northwood. That game will be played at Northwood. And then Crestview... Or Western Reserve, my mistake, is going to host Cardinal Stritch. These two teams could meet again in the semi. Ringler can't finish on the other end. He's going to go to the line for two as he tried to go reverse. Lost his footing, or he might have went up for another one. Ringler can't knock down the first. Their fourth foul. We got 340 left. 340 left in the second with four fouls. Crestview could be looking at a lot of freebies. Floater, no good. Rebound by Ringler. Baseball pass to Thompson. Spin move. Basket's good, Justice Thompson. He's just too big and too strong when he catches it that close to the hoop. And again, how about the baseball pass from Jarek Ringler to find him? Thompson's got 16. Looking for 17. And he's got it. He's two of two from the stripe. 33-13. Bruner almost got his hands on that one. Fralick has it. Look to get to Baylog. Stolen away by Tyson Ringler. Tyson's going to finish. Another timeout from Coach Shelton. 35-13. Sixteen to seven quarter, and that's exactly what Crestview wants. They force turnovers, they get leak outs, they run the floor, and they get layups. Keep chatting it up, guys. I love to see it. We love it when you guys talk to us. Rhonda Carey, Go Cougars, Daniel Stotts. He's at every stream we do. He pops in. Go Cougars. Jessica Bays, good luck, Cougars. David Graber, way to dunk that rock, Ringler. Nikki, go Cougar Nation. Carrie Webb Carpenter, let's go, Cougars. He did, yeah, David, they do play New London. If they knock off New London, then it'll be a tie for the Firelands. If New London pulls off the upset, as I think we're going to pull those standings up one more time while we're in this timeout still. So New London sits at 2-12. and 12. If they pull off the upset and beat St. Paul tonight, maybe I can check on a score on that at halftime and see if I can get a score update for that game for you guys. But if they pull off the upset, Crestview would win the Firelands outright. If St. Paul takes care of business, 
then it would be a share of the Firelands between Crestview and St. Paul. But again, as said, St. Paul's had a great season, but you can't take away from these Crestview Cougars and what they've done all year. As we're back to action, Jared Hip with it. Throws it right to Thompson. He's going to go coast to coast and finish with the left hand. 15th reserve turnover. Baylog. Pump fake. Can't knock it down. Battle for the board. Ends up in the hands of Goon. Ringler. The screen. Spin move. Can't finish. Misses again. Tyson, the offensive board. Goon's going to shoot another three. Can't knock it down. They're going to call Tyson Ringler for an over the back. Aggressive play on both sides there. Tyson did kind of go over the left shoulder. Don't know about over the back. He kind of went to the side. A little bit too much contact, though, trying to go for that board. His first team third, 2-12 and counting here in the first half of action. 37-13. Baylog wide open down low. He's going to be fouled by Goon. As Ringler came over to block it, Goon tried to go up behind him to block it, and he caught some bodies when he pump faked. They both jumped. Goon still almost got that clean, though. Baylog is going to step to the line to shoot two. First one's up. That ball touched every part of the rim except the nylon in the middle. That's the fourth Cougar foul. Misses both. Jarek soars for the rebound. Gets it to Bruner. Bruner to Thompson. Burgess. Goon from the corner. No good. It's going to be off of Baylog. He'll stay with Crestview. Ringler catches it down low. Pump fake a couple times. Use the strength. Go through everybody and get yourself two more, young man. He's got five, and it's 39, 13, 90 seconds remaining in the first half. That's a three ball, long. It'll be Cougar basketball. Keith will check back in. Ringler. Thompson, great feed, great block. Jared Hip. Can't knock down the triple. Hip with the hustle play. Nothing doing. Hip with the great block. The great hustle play, unfortunately, he's unable to save it. We crush few basketballs. We're inside a minute. Bruner. Thompson. Bruner, he'll shoot it. Can't knock it down. Bird just kind of got a hand on that one. Affected that board. Bruner's going to catch it down low. Looks to go to work. Little pull up from the elbow. Nothing doing. Couldn't knock down the little eight-footer. 20 seconds left. Gets the steal instead. Goon. Thompson. Two points. Justice Thompson has 21. And it's a 41-13. Cougars lead. Hip. Baylog, three, bottom, breaks Blake, Caleb, Brexton Flay, 
Vralik has 10. Knocks down the three to end the half. It's still a 41-16 Cougar advantage. I'll try to find that score update for you and give it to you at the halftime stats after this break. Nobody else gets you closer to the action than our exclusive coverage. So give me a call, Brian Skaronsky, and let's make you a part of the game. Since 1974, Simonson has helped their clients stay on target to meet the goals and deadlines for their projects. From concept to completion, Simonson can design a plan and build a path for success. Let Simonson Construction turn that vision into a reality. Instead of paying for some big name spokesperson, Casasa Checking gives that money back to you in cash rewards. In fact, you just bought me this cup of coffee. See how that works? Amazing! Free checking, cash rewards. Take back banking with Casasa. We do here at the OH Report, which is bringing you live and free high school sports without the support of our amazing sponsors. Simonson Construction Services Incorporated. From concept to completion, we can help you make a plan, refine your vision, and build a path for success. Sutton Bank, earn the cash reward of your choice for doing simple activities with Casasa. Scout Construction Services LLC. With more than a decade of business, you can trust Scout Construction with your roofing and siding needs. Call Scout Construction for more information. 419-989-7240. BS Media Productions. Need a commercial to showcase your business or promote that you're hiring? BS Media Productions is the most affordable, high-quality production company in North Central Ohio. Find them on Facebook. Home and Kitchen Supply, your one-stop shop for kitchen and baths windows and doors since 1970. Again, we couldn't bring you live and free high school action without these amazing sponsors. We'll be back for the halftime show after this break.
guarantee nobody else gets you closer to the action than our exclusive coverage. So give me a call, Brian Skaronsky, and let's make you a part of the game. Since 1974, Simonson has helped their clients stay on target to meet the goals and deadlines for their projects. From concept to completion, Simonson can design a plan and build a path for success. Let Simonson Construction turn that vision into a reality. Instead of paying for some big-name spokesperson, Casasa Checking gives that money back to you in cash rewards. In fact, you just bought me this cup of coffee. See how that works? Amazing! Free checking. Cash rewards. Take back banking with Casasa. Josh Banks back inside the den for our Scout Construction LLC halftime show where the unofficial update I have for you guys is the Norwalk St. Paul Flyers are beating the New London Wildcats 22-17. That's an unofficial update, but I, I tried to keep my word as I promised to you guys. But here inside Cougar Nation, the Crestview Cougars have a 41-16 advantage behind a 20 one point first half by Justice Thompson. 17 twos, one three, 16 boards, five turnovers, six fouls, four of five with a stripe. And one of those 17 twos was that beautiful two handed slam by Ringler. So next week, that's definitely going to be a highlight. That's going to be one of your top play nominees from the Joe Show next Wednesday. You got to cut down the turnovers of your Western Reserve. That was one of my keys to the game. Essentially slowed down the pace. Don't let Crestview get out and run. 
Because if you do, what's happening right now is what's going to happen to you for the next 16 minutes. We got 10 seconds to second half action. So we're going to go ahead and close out of the Scout Construction Halftime Show and say welcome back. It's been a fun one so far. It's been Crestview domination. But Coach Shelton is not going to let his guys lay down. They're going to fight back. Ringler's got it for the Cougars. To Bruner. Five. Is that a three ball? That's Thompson. He starts off the way he finished. It's smooth as could be for this junior as he catches that and shoots it. No hesitation from the corner. It's 44-16, and he's got 24. Ringler almost come away with another theft. He does end up with it, gets it to Wells. Wells. Bruner. Elbow. Good. Bruner. Has four. Pausch. Freilich. Two more. Brexton Freilich has 12. Tyson Ringler dribbles through the traffic. Can't finish. Little eight foot floater. Freilich. Pausch in the corner. That's Jared Hip. That's a three ball. That's a quick little 5-0 run, and it's 46-21. Ringler. Wells. Thompson. Bruner. Thought about the catch and shoot. Nothing doing. Tyson. Bruner. He will catch and shoot this one from the corner. Dylan Bruner. They love the corner here in the den. It's 49-21. Bruner's got seven. Baylog back to hip. Can't finish. Rebound by Thompson. Kicks it in the corner. Ringler. Long. Tyson Ringler with the offensive rebound to Wells. Great pass. Justice Thompson. The feed from Sam Wells. And it's right back up to a 30-point lead. Pausch. Freilich. Jared Hip. Block. Nothing doing. It's going to go off of Baylog. It'll be Crestview basketball. Ringler. With it for Crestview. Jared gives it to Tyson. Thompson. Back to Jarek. To Justice. Thought about going to Sam. Nothing doing. Gives it to Sam in the corner. Sam going to look to go baseline. Spin move. Back to the right hand. Sam Wells. Muscles one up and in. Sam Wells with his second bucket of the evening. He's got four. Fifty-three twenty-one. Hip. Waiting for a screen. Decided not to use it. They're going to call a push on Thompson. That'll be his second team first of the half. Hip decided not to use the screen. Beat Thompson to the spot. He kind of had to extend that arm a little bit to not let him get to the bucket. Baylog going to catch it. Gives it to Hip. Hip throws a lob to Freilich who kicks it to Keith. Baylog gets the offensive board. Swatted. Jerick Ringler said, not today, sir. Thompson almost came away with the steal. Pouch gets it. To Keith. Inside the bay log, guarded by Wells again. Ringler gets another steal. He's going to look to go coast to coast. And he's going to finish Jerick Ringler. He's got seven. 55-21. Keith, a great feed to Baylog, but Ringler almost comes away with another theft. Yeah. 
Carter Goon's going to check into the game, replacing Tyson Ringler. Hip trying to get it in. Throws it to Keith. Tries to feed it back door. Nothing doing. It'll stay with Western. Freilich inbounds to Pausch. Tries to get it up and over the smaller guy. He can't. Keith can't finish. He's going to be fouled by Burgess. He'll be out of bounds. Burgess's first foul, team second. They're going to get it in. Powell, she'll catch and shoot a three ball. Nothing doing. Another offensive rebound, but now we're going to have a out of bounds call. Another turnover. They're 20. First of the evening as Jarek Ringler has it. Thompson to Ringler. Looking for that same play they ran earlier. Instead, he's going to get it to Thompson. Thompson almost has it stolen away. He's going to look to go to work himself. Just as Thompson stepped through, can't finish, gets his own rebound. He's just too big, too strong. And we now have a running clock as it's 57 to 21. He's going to be out of bounds. The defensive pressure by the Cougars have forced the Rough Riders into 22 turnovers. They trail 57 to 21. Jarek Ringler with the pump fake, kicks it in the corner, Burgess. Burgess knocks it down, but Ringler's going to get called for an offensive foul before the three-point attempt. As you see here, Western Reserve must get it to below 30 to shut off the running clock. Jared Hip with it. Freilich. All the way inside. Young man's got some scoring potential. He's got 14, and he's only a sophomore, ladies and gentlemen. That's 57-23. Thompson. Ringler, top of the key, nothing but the bottom. Jarek, Ringler's got another bucket. He's in the double figures with 10. Tried to feed to Baylog, ends up in the hands of Freilich. Tries to feed Hip, stolen away. Thompson somehow managed to save that. And then Jarek Ringler with his Second rejection of the evening. Timed it perfectly. Two rejections and a slammer jamma. As Brayden Bruner's got himself a rejection now to go along with it. Three ball, no good. Ringler gets the board, gets it to Wells. Sam Wells going to look to go to work. Sam Wells with a beautiful spin move. Sam has six. We're inside, 45 seconds left in the third quarter. A great feed, Freilich in the corner. That's Keith. He can shoot it, and he does. Hayden Keith. Ringler has it. Bruner. Back to Ringler to Wells up top. Talent 
Wells gets it to Burgess. Five seconds. Goon. Ringler kicks it to Wells in the corner. Pump fake. He'll hoist at the buzzer. Can't knock it down. 62 to 26. Cougars lead after three. We'll be back for money time after this break. Since 1974, Simonson has helped their clients stay on target to meet the goals and deadlines for their projects. From concept to completion, Simonson can design a plan and build a path for success. Let Simonson Construction turn that vision into a reality. Instead of paying for some big name spokesperson, Casasa Checking gives that money back to you in cash rewards. In fact, you just bought me this cup of coffee. See how that works? Amazing! Free checking. Cash rewards. Take back banking with Casasa. Josh Banks back inside the den with you on a Friday night. Live and free on the OH Report, exclusively from Crestview High School, where you're seeing the Crestview Cougars dominate on senior night by a score of 62-26. to 26. And there's still not an empty seat on the Cougar side. Three ball attempted, no good. Freilich has it. It's going to be another turnover. The 23rd for Western. Bruner. Thompson. Thompson's going to look to go coast to coast. He can't finish. Thought he got fouled, nothing called. Rebounded by Wood. Keith. Pausch. Ringler with another theft. Another baseball pass. I'll tell you what, the young man's got 10 points. But that's his third or fourth full court baseball pass of the evening. And that's just impressive. Freilig to Pausch. Keith. He'll catch and shoot. Hayden Keith's got another triple. This is a sophomore loaded Western Reserve squad. They are an up and coming team. It's not the Western that we're used to seeing with Coach Sheldon, but he is building. And you're seeing some of these young men come out tonight. Hayden Keith has seven. Brexton Freilich has 14. Their leading scorer has not put a bucket together yet. Chase Hip has not scored yet. If I just counted that right in my head, they have eight. Six sophomores, two juniors. That's where I got the eight from. Six sophomores, two juniors. Wells turns it over. Baskets up and good. Ben Woodrum, it's another sophomore off the JV squad that's come up to get some minutes. And another sophomore. Wells with it. Daniel Wells now has it. Sophomore for Crestview. Sam with it. Sam going to look to go to work. Spin move. Sam Wells 
so good in the post. That three ball's no good. Sam gets the rebound. Daniel Wells. We saw him light it up in the JV game. He can't knock that one down. Rebound to Western. It's Tyler Wood. In the corner, that's Keith. Can't knock it down. Rebound to Wood. To Pausch. Almost stolen away. Stolen away. Nothing doing. Freilich to Pausch. Tried to get it. Sam Wells. Oh, no. No contact injury. We'll show it one more time, but after that we're gonna we're gonna go. He's up, walking away. Tell you what, that's a scary injury, ladies and gentlemen. No contact injuries are the scariest injuries, I'll tell you that much. You see Keith knock it down. Under 30. So we're back to regular basketball for the last 325. Tyson. Wells with it. Carter Bowman's going to finish. Freshman getting some varsity action tonight. 31 point lead back to a regular clock though 247 left Bowman knocks down the freebie he's got his first varsity points of the night Pausch stolen away stolen back away by Keith Wood can't finish Great rebound by Bowman. Wells going to look to push. In the corner. Back to Wells. Wells going to look to go all the way inside. He's going to go to the line. Daniel Wells.
Wells knocks down the first. Misses the second, but the offensive board. Around the rim, it will go in. Bowman's got himself six. And it's another takeaway for Crestview. Who should be back to a running clock. Wells throws it away. Keith. Freilich. He's shown his ability to play tonight. Brexton Freilich. He's got 16. Bowman's going to shoot another one. Can't get the friendly roll that time. The rebound. This going to go on Posh, his second. Out of bounds. Bowman's got to look at another one. He's going to keep shooting at another offensive rebound for Crestview. Saved. Wells. Spin move. Floater. Nothing doing. Another offensive rebound for Crestview. That's going to do it. Final score. Trust you 73, Western Reserve 37. We'll be back for our Scout Construction postgame show and an interview with the Crestview Seniors after this break. Nobody else gets you closer to the action than our exclusive coverage. So give me a call, Brian Skaronsky, and let's make you a part of the game. Since 1974, Simonson has helped their clients stay on target to meet the goals and deadlines for their projects. From concept to completion, Simonson can design a plan and build a path for success. Let Simonson Construction turn that vision into a reality. Instead of paying for some big name spokesperson, Casasa Checking gives that money back to you in cash rewards. In fact, you just bought me this cup of coffee. See how that works? Amazing! Free checking, cash rewards. Take back banking with Casasa.
Bowl game was brought to you live and free thanks to our amazing sponsors. Simonson Construction Services, Inc. From concept to completion, we can help you make a plan, refine your vision, and build a path for success. By Sutton Bank, earn the cash reward of your choice for doing simple activities with Kasasa. Scout Construction Services, LLC. With more than a decade of business, you can trust Scout Construction with the roofing and siding needs. Call Scout Construction for more information. 419-989-7240. By BS Media Productions. Need a commercial to showcase your business or promote that you're hiring? BS Media Productions is the most affordable, high-quality production company in North Central Ohio. Find them on Facebook. Holman Kitchen Supply, your one-stop shop for kitchens and baths, windows and doors since 1970. When we come back, we'll have your MVP interview, stats and analysis, and so much more. Stick around. Guarantee nobody else gets you closer to the action than our exclusive coverage. So give me a call, Brian Skaronsky, and let's make you a part of the game. Since 1974, Simonson has helped their clients stay on target to meet the goals and deadlines for their projects. From concept to completion, Simonson can design a plan and build a path for success. Let Simonson Construction turn that vision into a reality. Instead of paying for some big-name spokesperson, Casasa Checking gives that money back to you in cash rewards. In fact, you just bought me this cup of coffee. You see how that works? Amazing! Free checking. Cash rewards. Take back banking with Casasa.
Josh Banks back inside the den with our four, five. Unfortunately, he can't really make his way up here. Crestview seniors, we're going to start with Sam Wells. How did it feel tonight to be inside your home court on senior night, your last regular season game, and you not only win, but you handily take care of business against what's normally a very talented Western Reserve team? Well, you know, I love playing here. All the fans, playing with my teammates, it's the best thing in the world to me. I'm going to miss it greatly. Uh, I feel like we played really good as a team. They are a good team. They do have talent, but, you know, we just outplayed them. We played more. We had more effort. You guys forced 25 turnovers tonight. They could barely get the ball across half court between you, Dylan, Jarek, and down low, Mr. Burgess. You guys, they couldn't do anything offensively. What was the plan like this week to prep you guys for this game? Uh, I mean, we took we take every team into account before every game. I mean, we work hard all week on each team we're playing. Um, we knew their guards were good, and we knew we needed to ratchet, ratchet them up before the game. And I think we did good about. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I think we did good with uh, practicing and all the effort we've done to become better and uh, make it difficult difficult for them to play good. <laughs> I looked at Sam. I looked at Sam. <laughs> Go and pass it down one for me, Jerick. Mr. Burgess, you really play well tonight. Struggle to find your shot. You finally knocked down a triple in the quarter, but this guy gets a charge called on him on the assist so you don't get the bucket. What was it like for you to get to start on senior night and contribute not necessarily offensively, but defensively with some steals, rebounds, just to be able to help these guys? You guys are ranked eight in the state for a reason. You have a real good shot to make a regional run. What's it mean for you to be a part of this brotherhood that the five of you have built together? Um... Well, I normally come off the bench, so it meant a lot to be able to come out and start along with these guys who I've been teammates with for a long time. Um, and I know if my shot's not falling, I can. Al I always try to bring the energy in the glass or on defense and do the best I can. And, you know, it just means a lot to be with these guys on this court and do the best of my ability on both sides. And I think we have a, t we have a very talented team. We've, we've grown a lot over the years. And... It just, it's, a, it's a special team, and I feel like we can make a run as long as we keep playing like this and play together. Absolutely, and I'd agree. You're, you guys are a part as a group. Before you pass it on, one more question. You're a part as a group of one of the, the best start in Crestview history last year. You, you get beat by Lucas at Lucas. You come out this year. You keep the same run going. You handle business against Lucas. You get upset in, in dramatic fashion at St. Paul. What was it like for you guys to have to rebound after that amazing start that you had, you get upset on the road, you rebound to win your last three straight going into tournament play where you get a bye, and really a game that we thoroughly expect you guys to win? Well, I mean, really, that was a heartbreaker. I know all of us. It, it really sucked, but, I mean, we had low energy, and that's a game we know we should win every single time, but we didn't. That's just how things rolled, so we had to take the best out of it. We learned from it. I know we really went hard at practice, and it sucks that it happened. Again, like I said, we know we should win that, but it was just one of those nights where it was, everything was going their way, and we just had a bad night, but we bounced back, and I really like how we didn't put our heads down, and we, we fought back and practiced. We've been going so hard, and we didn't let it like determine us. We just got back to practice. We learned from it, and we went really hard, and we played together. Now, Mr. Ringler, before I let you guys give a shout-out, i got to ask you, what was it like for your first bucket on senior night to be that two-handed flush? We're going to show a highlight of it right now. You're going to be able to catch it on the Joe show next week because yeah. it's obviously our play of the game. Yeah. What what it mean for you to throw that down as your first points on senior night? I mean, it was sweet. I I haven't got to get one at home. I've got a couple away. But to get one at my first point on senior night, I mean, that was, that was God's plan right there. It was really sweet. A lot of the kids, I know, they come out, support every night. He asked, And one of the kids asked me if I could dunk, and I said, yeah, I'll get one for you. So it was really sweet. It was, it was really exciting, especially with these guys. I, I just love them. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start with Mr. Burgess. We'll pass it down each one, one at a time. Look up in the camera and give a shout-out to anybody you want to tonight. Uh, I'd like to shout-out my, my parents, my family for always supporting me. Uh, we have a great student section, and I always just want to thank God for giving me the opportunity to play this game at a high level. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank God, Jesus Christ, my Savior. I couldn't do anything without him. Uh, my family, they've always pushed me. The student section, the fans, they always come out and support so greatly. My teammates, my coaches, they just push us so much. And just everyone that comes out 
and I, I'm so thankful for everyone. Uh, I just want to thank God. I want to thank my uh, teammates and family, my mom and dad, uh, all the fans for coming out to uh, support us every day. It just means a lot. Uh, big shout out to Jesus Christ. We wouldn't be, none of us would be here without him. Uh, shout out to, to my teammates, the coaches, and all the support from my friends and family. All right, guys, that's our Sutton Bank MVPs. Without Malachi Spore again injured, great man. The four of these guys had a phenomenal game. Congratulations on a win. Good luck in tournaments, and good luck the rest of the year. Since 1974, Simonson has helped their clients stay on target to meet the goals and deadlines for their projects. From concept to completion, Simonson can design a plan and build a path for success. Let Simonson Construction turn that vision into a reality. Instead of paying for some big name spokesperson, Casasa Checking gives that money back to you in cash rewards. In fact, you just bought me this cup of coffee. See how that works? Amazing! Free checking. Cash rewards. Take back banking with Casasa. Josh Banks back inside the Den Cougar Nation Crestview High School where the Crestview Cougars hand the beat down to the Rough Riders by a score of 73 to 37 on senior night. You heard it from the four seniors the best. They got a really talented team and they've got a really good brotherhood. I'm excited to see where their tournament run takes them as you're going to see the final stats here. Crestview finishes with 26 twos, 5 triples, 25 rebounds, only 9 turnovers, 10 fouls, and 6 of 8 from the stripe. On the flip side of things, Western goes 10 twos, 6 threes, 18 boards. The rough stat here, 28 turnovers, 9 fouls, and 1 of 5 at the stripe. Both teams rolling into tournament play. This is a rough one for Western Reserve to take as they're going to host Cardinal Stritch on Tuesday at Western Reserve High School with a chance to advance to a sectional championship and I think what we all expect is going to be a matchup with Margareta. Crestview is going to play next Friday night here inside the Den the winner of Northwood and Bucyrus and I'm going to be back with you guys tomorrow night from Upper Sandusky High School where the Upper Sandusky girls are going to host the Willard Crimson Lady Flashes for a district title game but if you guys are bored, I think we still got a couple games going on here tonight. I know that we had the Dawson Brushcotter showdown going on with Willard and Shelby live and free as well. So if those games are still going on, don't be afraid to go check those out. We'll have plenty of action for you live and free tomorrow. And it's tournament time, so we're going to be live and free all over the state of Ohio over the next month and a half. So if you want to watch live and free hoops exclusively, Make sure you check us out. But for my producer, Adam Thompson, as always, my favorite camera guy, Brandon Powell, my favorite crew to work with, I'm Josh Banks from Crestview High School and the Den. Till next time, everyone, stay safe.